we're going to see the second biggest diamond in the world. This library, he had the opportunity to buy it through auction, and it includes uh, this first printed Quran in Germany in 1694, the oldest copy. Shukran. You're most welcome. It Thank was a pleasure much. for me to meet you. So we are in the Basta market and as you can see there's loads of shops. My shop, it's right over here, it's at the very end and it's to the left. I usually come and I search for records, I search for turntables because that's what I collect. I'm on the turntable or not? No, I don't have it. He's out of stock. This is the basic thing about this market, where you have to search yourself. It's not like he comes and tells you what are the new stuff. You really have to dig in and to search for what you really want. So I guess these are his new collections. And all I do is I just run through them. And anything which I find which is pretty interesting, I buy them and I research them on the Internet. I told him that I'm buying loads of stuff, so he really has to give me a very good price for it. So I think I can get it down to 30 bucks. There's no reason for you not to come over here. It's in the center of Beirut, and it's a must-come area. It's full of art and creativity. It's been 15 minutes I've been driving from the center of Beirut downtown, and I'm almost at the beach in the resort called Oceano. It's got different characters, different uh, sections, different packages for you. It depends whether you have a family or if you're coming alone or if you're coming with a bunch of friends and if, if you're coming with your lover, actually. You could see there's loads of banana plantations, which is pretty amazing because all you see is just the plants and then all of a sudden you see a resort. Siana during the day, Saturdays and Sundays, it turns into a day party, which is quite unusual in Lebanon. Beirut is known for its nightlife, and also Beirut people like to party during the day, especially during the summer. I DJ here, and this is my territory. I think it's right now to kick the ballistics and let the beats roll. <laughs> Hi there, how are you? I am Mario Bashil. I am the son of this city.
I live next to the biggest shopping mall in Beirut, in Lebanon. A very fancy place where we can go make the meeting, watch movies, restaurants, shopping, everything. But when I want to eat something delicious, authentic, yummy, yummy, this is a little snack where you eat very good sandwiches. Marhaba, Hanna. You know, he knows me when I was a kid, you know. But the sandwich, one sandwich. Uh, this is, you know, uh, this is the bread, yes. Lebanese bread, but I take it, you know, less bread to have less love handles. I take only one. <laughs> Not, <laughs> you know, this is kapta, Lebanese kapta. It's like kebab uh, with pickles, tomato, mayonnaise, you know, with a, a little of pickles in it. And uh, har, har, what is the hot, you know, chili, the chili. Uh, chili pepper. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> this is one of the first snacks in Beirut. They, they didn't make it as a business, you know. We work 35 years here. Yeah. Every day from uh, morning till uh, 3 o'clock afternoon, we do our work by hand. We are not a uh, machine. This place has witnessed from taxi drivers to gambling men, to presidents, to ministers, to intellectuals, to lawyers, to doctors, to, uh, to garbage people, you know, everybody passes by here. <laughs> And now I'm going to take you to another place where you can relax, really cool. But it's not very far, but we Lebanese people, we don't like to walk. We take our car. Well, now we are at El Falamanki. It's a cafe, restaurant, really nice place. It is located between Sassin and Gemeze, and people come here to enjoy shisha, nice food, listen to music. It even is open 24 hours. I love this place because it has comfortable couches, you are surrounded by trees, greenery in the middle of Beirut. Different crowd come to this place from all uh, kind of background and everybody meets here in order to continue the joy of life that is the identity of Lebanon, although we have passed through all these wars. And this joy of life, I think it is the result of the multicultural side we have in our education. Because we are born with the French culture, and we learn the Anglo-Saxon culture, and we are in the middle of the Arabic culture. That makes us, you know, more easy to approach. So now I'm going to relax in this place, cool down wait for the sun to go down. The sun go down on me, and after that, I'll take you at night to Jemaize. So we are passing Jemaize Street. As you see, it's full of people, but I'm taking you to a further place at the end of Jemaize, to a little club where I like a lot to relax. It's called Behind the Green Door. It's facing the company of uh, the electricity of Lebanon. And what's fun about it, sometimes you come here and there is no electricity. <laughs> and now people follow me to, there is no sign, but it is behind the green door. Why it's great to be at night in Lebanon? Because one of the major reasons we are Mediterranean, we are hot-blooded, we are cozy, we are welcoming, you know. We desire too much, we have a lot of uh, ideas struggling in our heads. And one other thing, you know, the Lebanese people fled from the war. We came back, people come from the States, from Canada, from Europe, from Africa, and all these cultures get 
together and recreate uh, Lebanon that is multicultural, that is fun, and who refuse to die. No matter what the world do to us, we are still living and long live Lebanon. association with intercontinental hotels and resorts using local knowledge to give you authentic experiences. This library, he had the opportunity We are in the Basta market, and as you can see, there's loads of shops. My shop, it's right over here. It's at the very... We're going to see the second biggest diamond in the world. end and it's to the left. I usually come and I search for records, I search for turntables because that's what I collect. I'm on the turntable that is dead or no? No, I don't have to buy it through auction. And it includes uh, this first printed Quran in Germany in 1694, the oldest copy. Shukran. You're most welcome. It Thank was a pleasure much. for me to meet you.